This is my 2016 Subaru WRX STI. This is obviously the Series Hyper Blue version. I've had it since it was new and it's been an absolute blast. I love this car. I've made some personal changes both aesthetically and performance wise to the car just to kind of suit what I'm trying to do with it. And the most recent addition are these guys. These are APR carbon fiber uh, brake inlets that essentially supply cold air from the front of the car directly to the uh, brake rotors on the front of the car. Um, Brembo brakes are great on this car, but with extended use, it's good to have, uh, like if you're gonna do any sort of racing application. Um, I mostly do some autocross, uh, quite a bit of rallycross, and I'm looking to do some track time as well. And so as I do more with this car, I figured I should probably uh, help out my brakes in the cooling department a bit. So how this works, um, and uh, actually what I'm planning to explain to you isn't just how it works, but when I was doing research on this initially, it, everything seemed like it was gonna be pretty easy to put in, um, just required some cutting to get stuff to go in and go from there. But none of the reviews that I saw online or on YouTube or anything um, really prepared me for a couple of the challenges that we came up with. So this video is to kind of try and help illuminate stuff that you might run into if you decide to go with this and also to help you um, figure out if this is really something you need for your car. Um, first of all, if you're just getting these to get carbon fiber on your car and make it look cool, um, there are other options out there that require a little bit less work. Um, so if you're just looking to add carbon fiber bro and make it look like, uh, look like a race car, then you might just wanna skip these because in order to install these, this goes all the way through. So not only do you have to cut out the plastic part of the bumper here, which isn't really that bad, you also have to trim the bottom corner of the crash beam um, on the bumper itself. So if you're just trying to make these things look cool, these literally, this carbon fiber piece will not fit without that uh, metal part of the bumper missing there. The inlet hose right where it goes um, from the edge of the carbon fiber piece to the hose itself will actually come into contact with the bumper beam and it won't install properly. It won't sit flush. Um, it won't even really go in. It sits out about an inch further out if you don't take that piece out. And if you're just doing that all, in the, all for the sake of making your car look cool, not worth the trouble. Um, thankfully, that was not my primary reason for getting this. Um, for install, it's weird. Um, I actually think I may have gotten a bit of a, not a dud, but a bit of a mistake. I have two of the same set of instructions in here that just explain how to put these in and don't elaborate on anything further. So I'm sure maybe there was a packaging error on that, but it was a little bit annoying um, trying to work through that um, as we were getting this installed. So you cut out the plastic part of the bumper itself. The whole bumper does need to come off in order to do that properly. And then you also want the whole bumper off because it's you're gonna need some space to cut out the edge of that, uh, of that bumper. They show in the instructions how much to cut off, but it actually isn't quite enough. And we didn't run into it with this side, but the driver's side, we ran into a bit of an issue. And I can actually still feel it because um, it's right there on the edge. Where the edge of this, um, of the carbon fiber still touched part of the bumper. So we had to actually cut off and shave off even a little bit more than what the instructions um, told us to. So that was a little annoying because we were trying to get everything back on the car to finish it up and it wouldn't fit because this was literally coming into contact with that and the bumper cover would not go on properly. Another thing I noticed is there is a slight fitment issue with this carbon fiber piece and the other side as well. You'll notice there's a slight gap at the top part of this. Now that's not the end of the world because when you're standing up looking at the car, it's not that big of an issue. And because structurally, the old ones, the plastic ones just clip in, they rely on that connection there. Whereas this is mostly relying on these three bolts that actually attach to the bumper cover itself. So this is screwed in, it's not going anywhere. It's very solid. Um, there's no give to this at all. Um, but yeah, getting this to fit in general, the gaps are still just a little bit off. This probably should be in a little bit further. Um, this line down here, I can feel it push out just ever so slightly here, and then it comes back in around here. Um, again, nothing major, just I was hoping for it to fit a little bit more, a little bit better. 
Um, the other thing, again, because my instructions were missing practically the other half, pretty much from the hose onwards, we had no instructions for. Um, on the driver's side of the car, you are going to run into a fitment issue of trying to get this hose around the uh, wiper fluid reservoir because that's sitting right in this part of the bumper. And there's really no space to fit a, uh, a nice wide diameter hose like we have on this kit. So literally, let me get underneath here. I need to do a little bit more trimming here obviously, but we actually had to cut down and go around it up that way. So that was a bit of a pain. Um, otherwise, fitment of the hoses, haven't had any rubbing issues with the tires. We use some zip ties to keep those hoses on the inside of the wheel wells. Um, these aren't anything crazy for tire size or anything like that. If you're running with a wider setup and you're really close to clearances on the inside of the wheel well, you will probably run into rubbing issues with the hose itself. And you don't want that because then you're going to completely defeat the whole purpose of the of this kit because it's going to rub a hole through your hose and you're not going to get as much air to your brakes. Now the brakes themselves, that was probably the easiest part of it. Literally take off the wheel, remove the caliper, take off the rotor, and then the dust cover that's on the back side ends up going right along there. You can kind of still see some of the carbon fiber on the edge there. Um, but yeah. They work great. Um, I've had them on the car for a while. I've driven it hard. I haven't taken, I haven't gone racing with it yet, but um, under repeated hard braking, I've not had any issues. Um, the brakes feel nice and strong. They feel like they're working. They feel like the brakes are nice and cool, thanks to that nice cold air that's getting supplied directly from the front of the car. If you have questions or comments or things like that, leave them below. I um, hope this was more helpful to you than the videos that I found out there. So um, yeah, let me know if you have other questions. I'd be happy to help. Thanks, guys.